la 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 Oh, magic portal. Uh, enter the magic portal. Okay. What? Wait. same old questions. Can you be a little more creative? This is TLK land. Here you're defined as a knower. Everyone is. Congrats for just having a paradigm shift. <laughs> oh, you're just like all the others. TLK stands for a theory of knowledge. Knowers are dealt with knowledge and beliefs. And I don't know how you got here. Uh, I think I saw a magic portal and I felt a falling sensation. Oh, so you're already using sense perception to justify your belief. You're catching up pretty quickly. What are you talking about? Oh, what are you? What do you mean, what am I, stupid? Oh, well, I've never seen anything like you before. Of course, an anti-social shutting like you hasn't. I live in the South Pole. Oh, wait, so you're a penguin, right? Not that. How do you figure that out? Oh, I heard my friends talking about animals that live in the South Pole. They call these animals Penguins. So naturally, I just thought that you must be a penguin. Nice use of the pragmatic theory. Ugh. Listen, stupid. I'm only gonna explain this once. You've heard others talk about South Pole animals whom you've never seen. Their conversations shape your view that animals living in the South Pole are penguins. Then you heard me say I live in the South Pole, leading you to conclude that I'm a penguin. What you use to acquire that knowledge is called the pragmatic theory. However, it may create paradox, since it's imagination-based. Seals also live in the South Pole. If you knew nothing about them, which I assume is true for an idiot like you, you'd think that they're penguins too. Get it? Uh, no. Whatever. I'm sorry. Don't bother. Oh, by the way, I've not actually seen a fox before either. Then how did you... Because my Ivy bio teacher taught me the definition of a fox. By applying the definition, I knew immediately that you're a fox. My way of acquiring this piece of knowledge is called the coherence theory. It's idea-based, way more solid than your little pragmatic theory. Whoa, that sounds so complicated. You must know a lot. There's still one more. And it is? The reality-based correspondence theory, which is justified mem by memory and senses. Say we'd both seen each other's species before. Then I'd know you're a fox, and you'd know I'm a penguin at first sight, from memory. Oh, I get this one. Uh, good. Oh, by the way, just like FYI, if you want to go back to where you came from, you need to pass a TOK test. So you'd better start memorizing everything I teach you. What? <sighs> Follow me. You still have a heck of a lot to learn. Here we are at the sacred WK tree. Sorry to be ignorant again, but... WK stands for Waste of Knowing. Because knowledge is so essential at TLK land, it is our ritual to pay respect to the sacred WK tree every day. What exactly is the definition of knowledge? Why do you ask? For something to become knowledge, it has to fit JTB. J for justified, meaning to be supported or proved by evidence. T for true which we'll talk about in a second, and B for belief, an attitude of mind. When a knower claims to know something, he or she is making a knowledge claim. When knowledge claims conflict, knowledge issues will be created. For a specific knowledge claim to be true, it, it has to fit pi. P for public, meaning everyone has access to it. I for independence, meaning it doesn't depend on belief or any outside factors. And E for eternal, Meaning, it doesn't change as time passes. Wait, do I have to remember everything on this tree, too? Oh, no. Oh, good. Well, only if you don't want to be trapped here for the rest of your life. Try to keep up. We don't have all day. All right, the four main ways of knowing are emotion, reason, language, and sense perception. And they are the ways that we gain knowledge of the world. Emotions are feelings like joy, sorrow, or hate. And reason is using sound judgment and logic to reach conclusions. We already talked about sense perception, which is using your five senses to experience the world. You did that when you used sight and touch to explain how you got here. 
And then finally, language is the basis of communication and can therefore affect your knowledge. Wait, but what about all the other uh, leads here? Oh yeah, those are all other ways of knowing, and they include authority, memory, faith, morality, introspection, practice, instinct, intuition, empathy, and consciousness. You expect me to remember all of these? Well, fine. You can just remember the four main ways of knowing. Emotion, reason, language, and perception. But only because you are so incompetent. Oh, thank you. No problem. So now that you've learned the ways of knowing, you can learn about the areas of knowledge, which we use to classify the knowledge that we acquire. All right, follow me. I know that area of knowledge is around here somewhere. Perfect. Here we are at the area of knowledge tree. As you can see, this tree has leaves with six subject areas that are the areas of knowledge. Mathematics, natural sciences, human sciences, history, ethics, and the arts. So I only have to know these six. Stop interrupting! So hopefully you know about most of these areas of knowledge already. Well, oh, fine. I'll go over a few of them. Natural sciences are sciences like physics, biology, and chemistry. And human sciences are those that seek to explain human behavior. Ethics involves studying the distinctions between right and wrong and explain morality for both individuals and groups. The arts is a group that includes visual arts, literature, theater, and music. Each of these subjects are ways of categorizing our knowledge. Did you catch all that? Did you catch all that? They were a good quiz. Uh, I think so. Good, because now you've learned many of the terms associated with TOK, you must meet the TOK master. Follow me. Here we are, at the home of the great TOK master. This looks just like where we were before. How do you know that? Uh, because it looks as, oh, I mean, because I'm using sense perception. Oh, good for you. Now be silent. We must wait here for the TOK master to arrive. <laughs> Behold, it is I. How are you surviving out of water? Good day! Are you here in an attempt to leave our wonderful TOK lands? and return to your own home? Ah, uh, yes. All right. I wish you the best of luck and the best of skill. May the force be with you. Are you ready for the first question? I hope so. Here it is. Define the correspondence theory. Uh, the correspondence theory says that truth is reality-based and that it can be justified by memory and senses. Correct! Next question. What does JTB stand for, and what do we use it for? We use it to test the validity of knowledge. J is for justified, T is for true, and B is for believed. What about PI? That tells you if a knowledge claim is true. P stands for public, because it has to be publicly available. Uh, I stands for independent, because it doesn't depend on outside factors. And E stands for eternal, which means it doesn't change over time. Good! Name the four ways of knowing. Well, I know sense perception was one of them. Oh yeah, emotion, reason, and language. That is correct! And your last question. What are the six areas of knowing? Oh. <laughs> Mathematics, natural sciences, human sciences, ethics, history, and the arts. Very good! You have completed the quiz. You will now be able to return home. Uh, and how do I do that? Well, I suppose you could tap your heels together three times. Um, never mind. I guess you could use this portal. Welcome to Extended Essayland! <laughs>